Buenos dias, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers, my name is Didi the YouTube, I hold my Bitcoins because I believe in the Bitcoin revolution guys, yes, finally shaved again because yeah, it was becoming scratchy, <laughs> the wife was complaining, now let's jump into the charts today because I have really cool charts again, the Bitcoin chart, Ethereum chart, looking what is going to happen to Bitcoin and Ethereum in the near future, Future. also looking at a really cool other chart surprising chart that is telling us what is going to happen next as well uh, also a little bit uh, attention to the B fed because I want to make you understand what is happening at the moment let's jump into the video BAM This is the first chart that we are going to look into and um, we just had a short flag on the 15 minute. I will show you later what that means. So this is the four hour chart on Bitcoin. And on the four hour chart on Bitcoin, we can see that we are now at this beautiful level of around 58,683 guys. Now, this trend line that has been coming up, this yellow one that we talked about, uh, the green one, sorry, that we talked about many times, this big one, that one, that is the line that we want to break again. That line is going to be higher and higher the longer it takes. At the moment, if you want to break that line, is uh, 65. That would be in the new all-time high. Will it take longer? That line will, hmm. And then that line could become support. Now, in the short term, I think it's very important to see that my face is not in the screen uh, okay that's uh, one second i'll do it like this i need to do it very good huh like this that everything is okay in the short term it's very important that now we broke this one here the red line the red line i will double click it um, and by double click it you understand uh, what the line means that is this one over here guys and um, that is the 200 moving average so that is how you see what the line represents we broke that one we came down again and we gave, went above one this line often is support so like you can see often when we pull back here we pull back bam to that line from there go up pull back to the line go up pull back to the line go up and pull back to the line that is um, what the line is so that's what why we call this line very important and we say okay this line could be a good support line so whatever will happen now to bitcoin at the moment in my opinion this red line will be the support so if we come down from here we will come down to that red line area 57,000. if we don't go down from here we will go and try um, to break this next level this one over here there because that was one of the levels we already drew before 60k that will be the biggest level of resistance how can we see this again we go to this one over here the tensor heat map and then we see on this area all those red blocks i'm going to zoom in a little bit is all around 60k you see between 58 and 60k that is the area you need to break and if we break that then the next resistance will be at 61k but like you can see in previous times when you look to the left we had some resistance around that 60k area before and we broke it we had it before and we broke it we had it before and we broke it so we can break this resistance area of 60k again and when we do so then i expect that we will go for this level between this line and here so that's between 60 and 65k and i hope we will be able to break this level because then we can continue that huge fifth wave that we were in and that fifth wave should end around 75k maybe even now 80k or 90k the longer it will take um, the low the higher it should be but let's see that is bitcoin let's jump into ethereum because ethereum did something amazing ethereum broke the 3k level we are above 3000 US dollar per Ethereum. That was exactly that I said a couple of months ago when Ethereum was still like $600. I told you, load up a shitload of Ethereum. Because if Ethereum is going to perform the same way as Bitcoin, I told you at that moment, Bitcoin did an all-time high and it doubled the all-time high. Ethereum should be doubling the all-time high. 
Now Ethereum did do uh, double the all time high, 1400 to 2800. Now it's even overperforming. Bitcoin's all time high was 20k. Now Bitcoin is at around 60k. So Bitcoin tripled from the previous all time high. If Ethereum would triple from the premium autumn high, we would be around three times $1,400, that is $4,200. So in my opinion, if Ethereum wants to perform the same way as Bitcoin, we need to find the 4K level. And then Ethereum tripled its previous autumn high. And then still Ethereum is underperforming the 2017 run, because at the 2017 run, Ethereum versus Bitcoin was at a level of 0.12 and even up to 0 0.15 at the moment we are at 0 0.05 so yes in my opinion if i look at the weekly chart maybe i can show it you uh, there uh, ethereum is still underperforming this was the 2017 level of ethereum slash bitcoin so 0 0.14 almost 0 0.15 15 15 15 <laughs> 15. So yes, look, Ethereum can go up way higher. Really cool to see in Ethereum. Um, guys, let's jump into another really cool chart that you need to see. I need to see if my face is then on the screen. Let's jump into this one. Bam. This is the charts on uh, Wubble.com. Uh, this is the website of Willy Who. I really like uh, his charts. This is the Bitcoin 60-day volatility. It's now 6%. If we look back to history, this is before, uh, for example, the 2012 and 13 one here, the volatility went up really, really high to 97. Here we went to 60, uh, to 60. Here in 2014 we went to 50. In 2017 we went to 39. You see this 14k pump, we went to 28 now we are at seven or six even 6.1 what does this mean this means that everyone who's always saying yeah but bitcoin is so volatile i am disagreeing bitcoin was volatile here but it becomes less volatile the longer it lives look less 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 yeah, we are in the bottom maybe we come up again a little bit more but it will be less the longer bitcoin exists the less volatile it will become on the bottom you can see also these lines here on the bottom i'm going to zoom in so that we can see them uh, a little bit more clear sorry so if you look to the bottom you see also these other these other lines you see the bitcoin line is the red one you see the us dollar euro pair the new zealand dollar to the us dollar and the gold if you look yes these are also volatile you can see the yellow one the gold one is also volatile but it's way less volatile than bitcoin but over time bitcoin will become less and less and less volatile and i believe in the future when the, we near the 21 million bitcoins and all that stuff bitcoin will be less volatile than maybe these pairs in the bottom because we can see some of the currencies like the Venezuelan Bolivar and all that stuff is way more volatile than Bitcoin. So these currencies in the bottom, I believe, can become also more volatile than Bitcoin in the long term. If you want to go to uh, Willy uh, Wu's website, you go to wubull.com and you click on charts on the top. No, I'm not being paid for this. I just like that people like Willy are creating such much uh, cool charts and also like this one here, the NVT ratio. Uh, it's all charts that can help you um, here, the MVRV, that can help you understand that we are not at the top of the bull run. We are now at the level of 2.95. At the top of the last runs, we were at 5.6. Uh, 5.9, 4.75, we are now at 2.75, so we have a lot of upwards movement possible and that will be the last push, because if we are going to look at the last push, before I'm going to do that, I'm going to check some really cool charts, but before that, I need to show you this, the BFAT Automated Trader, we went live this weekend, yes, a lot of people again on Discord, I think we have more than 5,000 members now, that didn't walk through these steps you want to be fed for free you need to follow these steps step one step two become a family member step two 
to subscribe to YouTube. Step three, use this referral link to buy a bit. Step four, follow us on Twitter. And um, if you're not a social media addict, you can maybe skip this one. Um, we will be very like this when it comes to this one. And step five, fill up the form. And then you get free access. And a lot of people are saying, oh, it is not trading, it is not trading. But because you filled all this data, we uh, see and can understand that a lot of people are trading. I'm going to show you that in this one. Let's take a look here at this beautiful BAM. Most positive thing is that I can see, guys, that you're all reading the manual. We had 922 reads, so you're reading, and yes, on average, you're reading 20 minutes. So that is the first thing that we can understand. Yes, people are reading, but probably people are not completely understanding it. Now I'm going to show you um, that we did have trades. And yes, um, I'm going to show you first that we started with a $100 uh, wallet 10 days ago. 10 days later, the $100 wallet is now $297. US dollar. In average, I can show you the Excel sheet later again on the Discord server as well. So we made 16.9% profit in average. We did this for 10 days. We started with $100 and we ended up indeed with around $300. Now you do the calculations. I am not saying that we will reach 16% a day for the whole future. I'm saying what we reached the last couple of days, 10 days. If we maintain this, do the calculation. Fill in 1000 over here, this and 350 days and you will be falling off your chair when you see that. So I hope that was all clear. Now I'm not going to show you the last really cool charts and I'm going to jump now to two extra charts just to give you this beautiful feeling on the Monday morning <laughs> that we are going higher and higher and higher. I'm sitting inside today because it's very windy so I don't want to have the wind influence in the video. Um, let's jump into these ones. Bam! Really cool chart. Um, I'm going to again put my face that is somewhere that it doesn't disturb us somewhere over here. This is the Relative Strength Index, the RSI. And this one is created by Plan B. So on the RSI, if we look to the tops in 2017 and 2012, 13, 14, this RSI was above uh, 95. You can see it here in this level. We were above 95. We were above 95. You know, 2013, 14, two tops. 2017, 18, we were above 95. At the moment, we are here. We are at 90. We still need to go to 95. So the orange will become yellow at the end. But, you know, around this level of 95. Over there. That is what we expect. And if we now look at this chart, the stock to flow model, Bam, this one, we can see exactly uh, what is happening at the moment. Because if we look here, then we see that this dot that we see over there, that was just closed, the end of April, beginning of May, is a little bit lower than the dot before. Just a little bit, a tiny fraction lower. What, are that, what does that mean? Let's look to the history. Every time when the dot went a little bit lower in the bull run, a little bit lower than the month before. That is over here. You see this dot, the second one, is a little bit lower than the first one. What happened after? Indeed, BAM! We went above that Y line. Let's see over there. One dot, a little bit lower, over there guys <laughs> the dot was a little bit lower than the one before what happened after bam we went above the white line that was the huge acceleration in the bull run now the dot is a little bit lower than the month before what do you expect that will happen i expect bam we will go up again above that white line that white line is at the moment around 288,000 us dollar in this S2FX model, stock to flow model. 
So this is what I expect to happen with Bitcoin. So if you ask me and you're thinking about should I bam, sell Bitcoin now or should I buy Bitcoin now, I would be buying. I would be buying. And yes, I would also be dollar cost averaging out of Bitcoin if we had passed the 100k level. But for me, we didn't reach the top of the bull run yet. That was the video for today. I hope you really enjoyed the video. There was not as much energy as normally because I'm talking a little bit less loud because the whole family is still sleeping. It's very early over here. Um, but I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, give the video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and family. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. And please leave a comment. What do you think about all these charts? Thanks for watching and see you tomorrow again. Hopefully outside again in the sun. Bam!